Hello and welcome. Hi. Why do we always look surprised? With <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit of shock, should really. should be really cool by now about it, right? You should be really oh, done relaxed. Okay. We've done yeah, this we should be really, really do, 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 do. This is how many have we done? Uh, before we do, 12. can we please introduce our yes. oh, star oh, guest? Gosh, We've yes. got another we... snout no, face, no. snout face guest. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Wasn't that your word? No, it was my word. <laughs> oh, snout really? fair guest, okay. Louisa George, the delightful, the snout fair, the wonderful Louisa George. Beautiful. Yay. Louisa George. Yay. Coming and joining our madness, Louisa. Yes, she is like, a I'm very, not, very I'm not, offended with a snout face. I know, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. She is a very, very good friend of ours, yes. who we spend a lot of time with and write with, and a lovely lady also. Yes. Yes. And a good writer. Yes, very a very good, good writer. writer. Tell us about what's been happening with you, Louisa. So what, we're two weeks into lockdown? We uh, are. Today's uh, two uh, weeks today, by the way, people. Two weeks today. So just before that, so I, um, before I became a writer, I was a nurse and funnily enough worked in public health. So, um, so prior to the lockdown, we got told that we were going to be going into lockdown in a few days. And so I went up to help um, my husband at his GP practice and it was bonkers crazy. Mm. Wow. wow. So your husband's a doctor and my he's got a practice a with sort of three other doctors. Got, I think there's eight. eight, oh, eight. Now. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a reasonably sized practice and it was absolute chaos because everybody was panicking. Really? They had mm -hmm. staff off. Um, quarantining or whatever, just being mm -hmm. off sick or whatever. Um, we suddenly had to do a whole lot of new things and yeah. get a, a room ready for to do COVID assessments. Mm -hmm. It was bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Um, so I'd worked with him for 11 days straight and then last week things calmed down a bit. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm now back trying to write. But it took a while mm -hmm. to actually calm down from that. So yeah. Yeah. Well, it's well, the I'd adrenaline. Like to thank you mm. for, for doing that, Louise. Yeah, yeah we're very absolutely. grateful to you. And, and your husband and, and your all husband. these people. Yes. Doing a great job. Yeah. yeah, all the medical people out there in the world, all the first yeah. front line, first yeah. responders, they're just doing amazing, amazing things. And caregivers, let's give a Caregiver. shout out to caregivers. Supermarket workers, wow. everyone yeah, who's true. actually out there yeah. when we're not. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I just marvel at it. And I know they're having to deal with some pretty bad behaviour from some scared people, but, yeah. you know, we appreciate it. Mm. Thank you. Important. Yeah. I will pass it, I'll pass that on to him. <laughs> Good. So how's all that affecting your writing? Um, well, like I say, at first, um, I, it took me a while to settle, and now I'm um, just plotting and planning. So, for my, mm. I'm writing a, a new genre. So, and do you have a house full, or is it just you and your hubby? It's just me and my husband. So it's back to normal. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This do you is, find it this is by normal anyway, isn't it? Like you guys. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Most of the time. <laughs> do you find it hard not being able to go out and socialise with people? Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing I've learned actually is that um, I do actually like people and catching up and we yeah. miss it terribly <laughs> yeah. sometimes Warren, com Warren comes back from work and i say yeah, i haven't spoken to anybody <laughs> he's like, i wish i had spoken to anyone I wish yeah it's mm -hmm. so, it's such a hard I, I tell you what i think like, what are we we're two weeks in today like you said but i think you really start to dig in deep into what you get to know yourself a little bit better almost so that True. sounds a strange a really strange thing to say but i've been I'm, i always think of myself quite even tempered man i've been some real lows and some real highs and mm -hmm. and i've never experienced that before it's actually a real shock mm -hmm. i've had to deal with you know not seeing my children and my grandchildren and my yeah. friends Sharon and i spend a lot of time together Sharon and i spend a lot of time together i see you louise you know louisa and it's like I just I don't know what it is. It's it's weird. If I was home on my own, I'd be really struggling. I think. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. Which is what she definitely. what she is doing. But I, I think also we're we're dealing with something that we just don't know how. You know, we've never been in this situation. Yeah. Before. yeah. So it is all very new and mm. and it is very unsettling for us all. So yeah. I, mean, I think that's you know, the way that you're describing the, the way you're feeling is perfectly normal. I mean, that's yeah. just yeah. everybody's like that, you know. Yeah. And I think if you've got somebody that is having to go out, like um, like you are myself, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you don't want them to come home to somebody that's like so needy and yes. you know, just like <laughs> talk to me. Well, I try. I've been talking to people all day. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's and then they're so tired. I mean, I don't your husband's younger than mine, but you know, it's it's the old nodding off business in the chair and then you're like, 
Yeah, thanks. So maybe <laughs> having someone to talk to. Yeah. But then on the <laughs> other side of that, the flip side of that is being with someone who you're not usually with 24-7. True. You know, yeah. and, and that's that's been a real adjustment, I yes. you know, for us. Um yeah. And a real um, sort of insight into my husband's thinking of retiring early. Um, so it's a oh, real insight oh, into... Oh, it's like a trial run. Yeah, yeah. trial yeah. run. And he's, How's that trial run going for you, Wendy? <laughs> actually, it's going quite well. He, he's a very quiet... He can be a very quiet person. So he will just sit and read a book. Except for when read, he walks past the... Um, except when he walks past the window quite a bit. I tell you what, the gardens have never looked better. There's a hell of a lot of pruning going on. Yeah. Um, and he is having his up and down days too. Like yesterday was a real down day for him. Um, because he's quite a busy guy and you know like yeah, he, yeah. he likes to get out and ride with his he cycles on the road all the time with his mates and where he's at work you know and he's got a lot of guys to that work under him up there that he's helping and I mean and he worries um but yeah I mean on a, on the whole I have to say out of 100 percent I'd give it a, a good solid 75 80 we're doing yeah. we're doing quite that's well that's not bad that's not yeah. bad yeah it's yeah. pretty good it's a time thing though isn't it like that mm. I think the more like we're we're into week 150 million 907 mm -hmm. um yeah. and i found that each week we fit into a routine yeah you know that this happens in the morning and that's you know yeah. da, 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 da. so i think that that's yeah. really working well yeah um, but i don't have a small trial trudy uh, <laughs> how's that going <laughs> actually going not too bad she's um she's pretty good we've just got a new kitten from um we've Got it from my mum, who decided she didn't want the kitten anymore, and now we've got it because we kind of convinced her to get it in the first place. So you know, it felt like it was our responsibility. <laughs> 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 yeah, um, and Zoe's loving the kitten, so that's kind of distracting her for today. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just she's around all the time, and it's just I I kind of am used to having my little space to get into yeah. the flow and just to get stuff done. Um, for example, I can just hear her coming in now, out of her room now. And um, it's, yeah, it's just that just constant distraction, that low level hum mm. that's around all the mm. time that you kind of just have to figure out mm. how to. Yeah, it is. And I get around that. And I mean, it is yeah. nice. I mean, I guess I've got her around and I can snuggle and cuddle with her. And, mm. you know, she comes into my bed in the morning and just snuggles down with us. And, you know, like that sort of mm. thing. You've got her around us. Whereas people with older kids and stuff, you, yeah. you're obviously in separate environments so mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. yeah mm -hmm. and peter's good he looks after her he goes they went out for a bike ride yesterday and they go mm -hmm. out to the back paddock i mean we're really lucky because we've got paddocks out the back yes. that they can go roam around them and got yeah. the dog for a walk and you know there's yeah stuff happening so that's okay what, what about you Cher? how's it going for you oh yeah yeah i've, I've had some some pretty damn times but uh, i think that is purely from being alone very much of every single day um, so I kind of look forward to the weekends in a way that I, I hadn't for quite some time. You know how people say, oh, it's Friday, yay. And I'm yay. like, yeah, but I'll probably do something on the weekend, some sort of work at some stage, you know, balancing that with going to go for coffee or breakfast or something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which there's not any of. Yeah. So it's, it is trying to um, find a different balance. And um, yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm still a work in progress. I think we all are to be we featured. All are, bud. Yeah. We all are. <laughs> this has to be the most serious what episode that I've ever That's okay. But we'll finish with a joke. I do have a joke. Oh, okay. Go I've the got, joke. Go, go the joke. Just okay. to lighten it up for a minute. <clears throat> so, did you hear about the new restaurant on the moon? No. It's got great food, but no atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite funny. That's actually quite good. I'll good. give you that share. I liked it too. Okay, Sha, lay it on us. How are you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing really good. Um, I mean, I definitely have my kind of. It still feels a little surreal moments. Um, mm. but I I read a very um interesting article, and it was on people with anxiety and depression. Um, not all, obviously, but it, there was psychologists and psychiatrists are noticing, noticing people that had um, experienced those before or, or were kind of living with them are actually dealing with this pretty well. And I am definitely in that camp. And I think what it is, is because I've already particularly, I've suffered both, but particularly with anxiety over recent years, you've already kind of got the tools. So a lot of the familiar feelings like the lead tingling, they're not like, I kind of know, okay, I need to up whatever. So you kind yeah. of, have your little toolkit so you know it's actually kind of 
well, that served a purpose. <laughs> so, <laughs> all those yeah. years, excellent. Do you ever um, thought you'd be thankful for it? Yeah, <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah. That's exactly what Brooke Castillo has been saying. Oh, is really? That she has oh, anxiety. Okay. And, and she's okay. saying, I had that not heard that. Anxiety that she's had all these years is yeah. actually set her up really well for being able to oh, that's continue good to on because I mean, like she has to... the tools like to know that sometimes you know really shitty experiences can actually serve a greater mm. purpose mm. That, so that's cool um and I mean I'm not saying that I'm not worried at times but I just know that the things that I was doing um to to kind of live with anxiety before I I'm just doing the same thing and mm. and noticing a lot of it is mindfulness and noticing yourself and self-talk and all of that kind of stuff um big 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 part people if you're not already doing it really 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 um watch the amount of news that you're taking in and the amount of information yeah. i mean yeah. we're working online so we, you kind of can't really miss it but just not watching the news at night for us is really super important. Yeah. Um, I live with my adult son who who is pretty anxious about the whole thing. So we um, we are thrashing the Friends um, Blu-ray <laughs> and, and the fun co- stuff. Yeah, the, like kind of instead of comfort food, it's comfort TV, and we just do that. You know, um, yeah. for any um, geeky people or people that like British humour, highly recommend the IT Crowd. It's on our Netflix here. It is so good and so funny. We've gone through the series probably ten times, but we're going through it again. Um, <laughs> Blackadder, you know, I love those British humour. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Like, seriously, the Brits, mm. you can't beat the Brits for the comedy. Yeah. Um, so no, we're doing pretty good. I mean, I, I, I miss, I miss physically touching people, which is weird, mm. but mm. I do. In, and, a, in a purely um, huggy kind of way. In a purely huggy kind of way. Yeah. yeah good, yeah, good, yeah. good, good to clarify. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, just, you know, I like honestly. to touch people. <laughs> <laughs> but every, Everyone's going to be getting a hug when we get out of this. Oh, but yeah. will they? Will they? Will they? Like, we will they? I want one of those thermometer you know, things you can yeah. snap at people oh, first right to right check on. them if they're hug worthy. Okay. Did you see that, that news people. report? <laughs> Did you see that news report where the woman had a two meter a tape measure and it was one yeah. of those ones that, and it was stuck out to two meters and every time anyone came close to her she go two yeah. meters two meters. Yeah. <laughs> it was in a supermarket yeah. somewhere. Poor lady who was on the news. Yeah, really well, I have to now. say, I, I, you know, I'm so thankful for this that we started doing this this morning video and it has given a structure and I think having yes. structure to your day is really important. Mm-hmm. Not not you know every hour allotted, but just mm-hmm. having something. Mm-hmm that yeah. you have to show up for and, you know, do yeah. your hair for and get dressed, get dressed for. for. Yeah. <laughs> I don't put on makeup, but I might put on a bit of lipstick every now and then, you know, it's that yeah. kind of thing is really, really important. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah. But, you know, I take my hat off to people that are trying to work that are, you know, dealing with financial worries and job worries mm. and all of that kind of thing. Yep. And I'm also aware that we are very lucky be in New Zealand and yeah. so you know that we have a lot to be thankful for yeah so. and did, did Louisa have anything else to say before we sign off today oh 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 no, wait. sorry go. I oh, just need go. to add my Kiwiana at the end after okay. Louisa okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. no I don't think I've got anything else to say I know okay, okay. No, <laughs> no, nothing question. profound I have a question so now that you know that New Zealand is the best place in the world yeah. how how long have you actually been in New Zealand for Louisa 17 and a half years. Oh, yeah. so, you're so, a so you're a Kiwi. Yeah. yeah. You're, a Kiwi. you're officially a Kiwi. Yeah. 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 I've got a joke. Go the joke. Okay. Man walks into the zoo. The only animal in the entire zoo is a dog. <gasps> it's a shit zoo. <laughs> 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 We're rocking those jokes today. Those are the two funniest ones so far. That, Either that I, or my sense of humour is going to down. They're improving. I think okay, go shower with, with the Kiwiana. So my Kiwiana, here's my Kiwiana thing. And so it's there was a wide range of choices, but I'm giving you a double whammy today. So first of all is stubby. S T U B B I E. So a stubby is a bottle of beer, like a short bottle of beer. I don't know what you'd call it. A stubby, yeah. Yeah. Elsewhere, but that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. However, 
If you add an S onto the end of that word, it makes stubbies. And a stubbies are a pair of really short shorts. For Man, guys. from short. the 80s. From the 80s. <laughs> from the 80s. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't really even know. If someone said to me, what stubbies mean? No, I wouldn't I know. Well, it's because you're too young. Yeah, you're, you're, you're like a decade too young. Yeah, yeah. way too young. <laughs> Those of us that were us more mature in the 70s ones, and that. 60s know yeah. that a pair of stubbies, yeah. mate. There is nothing good about stubbies because yeah. guys used to wear them. And so they'd have like these super white kind of hairless thighs right so then picture this then you've got your cream colored stubbies above those thighs yeah and no, you get no. into kind of hairy legs and I then probably they would on. wear um, long thank you for that sometimes. imagery no yeah. there was walk shorts that they used to yeah. wear long socks yes i think yeah. you've got those two no confused. you've got them completely no, stubbies confused. were just short Shorts. Real shorts. I used okay. to swim shorts. in them. Yeah. I am now I'm on a mission really to find a picture of stubbies. I'm yeah, and put them up. Yeah. 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 Sorry, um, sorry in advance, but yeah, she yeah. will find them. <laughs> we hope you <laughs> all will keep find them it well. and she will inflict yeah. them on you all. That is yeah. That was our two week wrap up. And we're yeah. hoping we did you all it. Well. And we're doing Louisa it. Keep Louisa going. for joining us. Keep keep on charging people. You got it. Well, see you next time. Bye now. Bye. Oh, gosh. Yes. Okay.